With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, in Langmuir's model of adsorption of a gas on a solid surface, you are given four statements regarding it. You have to select the correct statement. Okay, the first statement is uh, about the rate of dissociation of adsorbed molecules from the uh, surface does not depend upon the surface covered, right? So, the rate of dissociation is basically the rate of desorption or rate of the uh, dissociation of the adsorbed molecules means the rate at which the adsorbed molecules leave their site. Okay, so in general, if we talk about the Langmuir model of uh, adsorption, he first considered that monolayer adsorption takes place, right? He considered that a monolayer adsorption takes place according to Langmuir. This was the assumption, right? It means that only one layer of adsorption is going to take place, right? So he's, he assumed theta as the uh, fraction of uh, the fraction of sites right which is equal to the number of sites available right which is equal to the total number of sites available which is n okay total number of uh, sites available which is n divided by sorry so the fraction of sites uh, theta is equal to the number of sites occupied it is equal to the number of sites occupied divided by the total number of sites available which is n right so n theta is actually the number of sites occupied Okay, so the rate of uh, adsorption, it depends upon the, the number of sites available, it's the number of sites available. So, total number of sites are n and n theta is the number of sites occupied. So, the available sites are n, n minus n theta and the rate of desorption or the rate of dissociation basically depends upon the, the number of sites occupied, right? It depends upon the number of sites occupied, right? Because if you know about the sites occupied only, then you can understand the rate of desorption. So that is proportional to n theta. So therefore, it depends upon the uh, it depends upon the surface. The, the, as the first statement says, the rate of dissociation adsorbed molecules from the surface does not depend upon the surface covered. It is incorrect because it does depend upon the surface covered, right? It does depend upon the sites occupied or unoccupied. Okay. So therefore, the first statement is incorrect. The second is adsorption of a single site. On the surface may involve multi multiple molecules at the same time no multi-layer adsorption is not possible as a case of the Langmuir adsorption isotherm okay or the Langmuir's assumptions on the basis of that the next is the mass of the gas striking a given area of the surface is proportional to the pressure of the gas now this is true right so the mass of the gas in that given area of the surface is proportional to the pressure of the gas it is affected by the pressure of the gas okay and the last statement is that the mass of the striking mass of gas striking a given area of surface is independent of the pressure of the gas this is incorrect because it does depend upon the pressure of the gas and if we talk about the rate of adsorption then this also depends upon the pressure of the gas okay so the option three is going to be the correct answer for the question for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.